My name is Diana Pate. I'm a veterinary ophthalmologist here at Upstate Veterinary Specialist. Common eye diseases that we see in dogs and cats, corneal trauma um, from dogs and cats being outside and potentially running into something, inflammation inside of their eyes, which is called uveitis, um, conjunctivitis, which is inflammation on the outside of their eye, glaucoma, which is an increased pressure inside of their eye, cataracts, which are opacities in their eye that can affect vision, and then retinal diseases, which can also affect vision. Important things for owners to look for to notice if they have an eye problem is eye pain, which usually is shown by squinting one eye, um, discharge from an eye, redness, or cloudiness. In addition to holding their eye closed, sometimes they're acting as if they have a migraine headache. So they're acting more lethargic, they're hiding more often, they don't want to play like they normally do, and they tend to sleep a little bit more than usual. Nikita was an abuse rescue that we were fortunate enough to have to come into our life. Um, we couldn't touch her, but she had a good quality of life because she had her own doggy door and she would go in and out. Until one day we, f we heard her bumping into the walls and uh, it went on for about three days and we took her to our vet and the vet was concerned because she had apparently a cataract and her other eye had a lens that had flipped backwards so she was pretty much blind in that eye. So when the cataract developed, it made her totally blind and she lost all of her independence. Of course, Mike and I were so concerned because we couldn't pick her up or touch her that our only option would be to lose her. And then we were told about Dr. Pate and that Dr. Pate could actually do cataract surgery. And so we prayed and we got an appointment with her and she definitely was a candidate. Cataract surgery regains vision immediately, so as soon as dogs are waking up from anesthesia, they can actually see, and their vision tends to improve within that first week as the inflammation subsides. So immediately after surgery, dogs are feeling better because they can see, and sometimes keeping them calm and quiet is actually difficult because they're so excited about being able to see. But that calmness for the first month after surgery is important for healing to make sure they don't, don't have any of the complications. From the moment Dr. Pate walked into the exam room, she was able to calm Nikita down, um, and that was a challenge in itself. But Dr. Pate was able to manipulate her so she was able to do the exam in her eye. Because once she got in there, it wasn't just a cataract. She also had a loose lens in that eye. So she did more than just a cataract surgery with Nikita. She actually repaired the whole eye. And so that was a little bit more in depth than we had assumed in the beginning. So to have her come to this point, just tells you how amazing Dr. Pate is and what she does. Not only with her talent or professionalism, but her heart. And with every animal, she becomes a friend and of like a family member. Nikita just felt so comfortable with her. It is very rewarding to see animals, especially after cataract surgery, because the animals are usually more quiet when they're non-visual and suddenly after they can see again they're so much happier and lead a better quality of life after they can see again. I mean she was so pitiful it just broke your heart and now she comes to the doggy door at about 30 miles an hour skips the ramp comes in gets on her bed gets down so she's having a good time now. Yeah she's a much happier animal. <laughs>